players have uh, three minutes to warm up and get ready to play in between sets. There's plenty of entertainment for the fans. I just love watching Roger hit a few balls, don't they? He got such a warm reception when he was out here practicing earlier today. Similar One minute. Scenario there. And, uh, of course, Mike Max Indian Aces won yesterday evening. And they're looking for another today. But it's uh, Pat Rafter who's given the DBS Singapore Slammers a decent start. But I, I guess the Slammers now might struggle. Obviously, a lot depends on how well Federer plays. Sanya Mirza and Rohan Bapana have been outstanding so far, so they should be good partners for Federer. But uh, I'm really looking forward to both of these sets, uh, particularly the men's doubles against uh, Hewitt and Kyrgios. I just wonder if uh, that'll make uh, Roger a little nervous or not, given that Pete struggled so much. He's, uh, you know in a similar sort of boat having just come in. Does anything bother this guy? I guess that's the question. It doesn't we'll look like him, does it? And of course, uh, there's a, a little picture of Roger looking very dapper there. At IPTL, rooting for the Indian Aces, why wouldn't they be? Uh, I think the vast majority of tennis fans tend to root for any team that has Federer in it. For a moment there, I thought... Uh, got Prepare to play, to balls in please. Time. And of course, uh, Novak oh, Djokovic is here as well. Uh, shout out from Slovakia. Hashtag shout out at IPTL. So get involved. It's always nice. T Barn. It's a Man U fan. I'm not reading this house. I'm surprised that we gave him any shout out. Who's serving? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Certainly looks yeah. like uh, he's enjoying yeah. himself. He's got some nice yeah. there. Yeah. 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 This is for Sanya Mirza. Do it, do of course, they've just moved into their new home as well. Singapore Slammers for sure. On the internet, it looks uh, like a fabulous pad. Why wouldn't it be? So we're all set Ready? in match 15 Wait. for set two. Mixed doubles, Fezra, uh, Federer and Mirza up against Suarez and Hantikova. Love 15. That's going to be a nervous one for Bruno too, right? He was nervous in the first match that he played, wasn't he? And he hasn't played a lot of tennis, so that's the, the problem. He's been practicing hard, but he hasn't had a lot of match time. And <laughs> he's thrown in the deep end here. Singapore Slammers up 
Well, Pat Raft has joined us from the Slammers bench. Pat, just tell us uh, a little bit about this reception here today and, and being a part of that. It's loud. I wanted to film it, but we get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> it's on court with our, with our phone, so I didn't want to film it and just sort of show them back home how it is. And tell us a little bit about how nice it is to then step out there on court and play as well as you did against a 14-time Grand Slam champion. Yeah, I did play well. I mean, obviously, uh, Pete was very, very sluggish and he, he uh, struggled with this court. It's a tricky court to play on. And uh, I actually served really well. I mean, probably... I, we, we, we spoke in the gym yesterday afternoon, you said you just got a third body and that's all I'm going to do for the next <laughs> four matches. But I think you've played well in the vast majority of your sort of singles matches since perhaps the first one, but some of your opponents have played lights out, haven't they? I felt that way, but I just maybe think that I'm just beyond this game. You know, maybe these, these old guys are just far too good for me now. That's the way I start feeling. Um, you know, the game sort of left me behind in the senior ranks. Um, that's okay, you know, I'll keep trying. That's all I'm going to do is try my best and see what happens. Robbie. Pat, Robbie here. I think you're still a bit of life in the old dog yet. <laughs> but um, tell us a little bit about your new role within uh, Tennis Australia now, uh, stepping up, uh, overseeing everything. Yeah, mate, um, running high performance of um, Tennis in Australia. Yes! So that's uh, it's a really big job. That's from, from boys and girls all the way, uh, all the way uh, from age 12, all the way through to the senior ranks. And that's also encompasses all the strength and conditioning physios. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a really massive role. I've got to surround myself with some really good people. And Pat, tell me what it's like when you come from a big federation like uh, you know Tennis Australia. You've got so much money at your disposal. How do you find that balance between trying to give the players uh, enough financial aid, but not give them too much at the same time, trying to make them hungry and keep them hungry? Yeah, Robbie, that's a great question, mate. And I think in the past, you've seen a little bit of the LTA um, and also Tennis Australia having trouble with that, and maybe even, even to an extent the USCA. Mm -hmm. the, um, the one country that has done it well, though, has lost the money as a thing. So, you know, you look at that model and go, well, they've, they've probably provided their players with a lot of opportunity. Yeah. I, I'm a big believer in, in working hard for your money, investing hard within your money. Uh, and so if you're going to spend that money, you better make sure it's the right person. And, and I want those people to um, really be aware of that. Well, Pat, uh, good luck with all of it. I hope it goes really well. I think Tennis Australia are really blessed to have somebody like yourself here in such an important position. Ah, you're a good man, Robbie. Enjoy it, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks, Pat. See you. Well, that's a, a good start by the Macamax Indian Aces. Uh, Federer was uh, let off the hook on the penultimate point there when he served the let, turned his back, and forgot that uh, no lets in this particular format. But uh, Sanya is keeping him honest, and they're having a lot of fun out there. Two love. Daniela was a little nervous when she played in Manila, but I think it really helped her when Serena came in. She could kind of sit on the bench, soak up the atmosphere, and, and realize that it's not easy for anybody. And then she played a lot better yesterday, and I think you know, she's had an opportunity to get used to the format and is a little more relaxed now out there on the match court. And didn't he play well, Robbie, in the Davis Cup final in the doubles with Stan? He played well, but I thought uh, Stan was actually the better player on the court that day. <laughs> I mean, he played so well over the course of the year, didn't he? He was so instrumental in bringing Switzerland to the Davis Cup final. And of course, only fitting that I guess he won the deciding match there in Lille.
Ooh, good hands. Magnificent tennis from the Micah Max Indian Aces. Wonderful teamwork there. And that guy would know a thing or two about some deft touch. Sunil Gavaskar appreciating everything that Mirza did there. Just turning that one down to third man. And that's a shame. Yeah, she's played some inspired tennis throughout the competition. She's got an excellent average. 5.29 coming into this set. Here's uh, Sanil Gavaskar. He averaged uh, over 50, didn't he, in the test cricket? That's not bad. And uh, it's all change here. It's the DBS Singapore Slammers who are struggling for games. The Micromax Indian Aces lead 3 love. Look at the score overall. 6-5 now. Keep going. Come on, Come on. Come on. <laughs> Great deal of fun there, aren't they, on the bench? Why wouldn't you? for this point. Decent lead for the Aces, three love. That's key. When you are a little tight, you've got to be active early on. You've got to get the feet moving, make some crosses. The net there, did he? Don't think the umpire's allowed to call a touch if it's Federer, is he? I mean, look at his court position. Goes at the very last minute. Such explosive movement. You see the footwork there. He's on his toes all the time. They did a lot of crossing in the Davis Cup doubles, didn't they? Played really well. Yep. Bit of eye formation here. I mean, if you make Roger get down on his knees, there's no double faulting, is there? <laughs> <laughs> that uh, will be a first yellow for Sanya. Who's got the most fans? Federer in Switzerland or Sanya in India? That's a one horse race, Jason. I'm sorry to say. I think Sanya's got to more followers and fans uh, than the entire Swiss population. Yeah, it's uh, hard sometimes for us to comprehend coming from Europe just how big India is and how huge their sporting superstars become. And, uh, there's so few women as well that have excelled at the highest level like Sanya. Again, a bit of eye formation. Touch. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'll be uh, a relief for Sanya. Always nice to hold your serve. And uh, a quick timeout called by the DBS Singapore Slam. It's just got to slow things down at the moment. I'm bringing, I'm bringing in the big dog. The big I mean, dog. is it possible that we're going to get Nick Kyrgios in here, given that Bruno is struggling? I'd like to see that. Good luck, mate. All right, Nick. <laughs> Nick, let's go. Come on, mate. Get out, get out there and serve big, okay? Come on, every game we can get is big. Yeah, exactly. yeah we're changing. We've got to stay, stay here for a little bit. Oh, mate, good intensity out there, huh? So, Bruno Suarez has been yanked, and in yeah. comes Nick Kyrgios. All right. It'd be nice for Nick to get warmed up, actually, because remember, they're playing doubles next with Leighton Stewart against yeah. Federer and right, Rohan Vopana. Let's go. So, that's a big doubles match. We're all looking forward to that one. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Federer seems to be striking the ball very well so far. Nick Kyrgios replacing Bruno Suarez. In comes Nick Kyrgios then. And he will serve. And he's certainly not going to treat Federer lightly, that's for sure. 15 left. on the forehand is what Rogers got. Hit it and keep coming forward. Thirty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Got some good juice on that first surf. So this one counts double for the receiver. Yeah. Oh, surely Kyrgios had to go to Mirza there yeah, with the first sense. shot of the rally. Had to go over, looks a little nervy. Yeah, yeah, this is the so the substitution ball. doesn't really work for the Slammers. It's the Micromax Indian Aces who lead. Five love. It's seven six now overall. Oh, you like the PowerPoint, huh? <laughs> I like everything so <laughs> Mixed. Great. Right. Mixed is straight up. And it's Yeah. He's pretty apt, isn't he? <laughs> well, just as Sonny of Shrunk played mixed to the Australian. That's not bad. <laughs> and we did get that on audio for you, Sonia. So uh, is that a binding contract? 100%. Roger's father. Because, of course, this is uh, very much a new experience for Rogers. It's always nice to uh, come with him, experience that together. Field. And of course, Rogers' father loves his talents. Be interesting Thank to get his opinion on what he thinks of the format and the competition overall. He is a, a real tennis aficionado, isn't he? And he doesn't only watch Rogers' matches. That's the nice thing about Robbie. He watches a lot of the other players. Gets a real joy in seeing how they play their tried. legs 
is Federer. Didn't take him long, did it? Nice and warm down. Comfortable win in the mixed doubles then for the home team. <laughs> Mac Max Indian Aces. And they've turned things around nicely now. They lead eight right. games to right. six. You warm up with Gael? Keep a warm up. Decent debut there. Propose three minutes. Et Gael, il se le rend un peu. C'est en plus. Yeah, he's just. Uh, huh? Opened up the can all best there, right? Roger Federer. Okay. 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 The idea uh, was to commence with Bopana and that Gael will take the place of Bopana. I think it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Okay. I'm going to see how I feel after the three games. And I'm going to be in the middle. 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 Let's see what Roger Federer has got to say to him. Sanya, could you introduce us to your new mixed doubles partner? Yeah, um, yeah, well, he just asked me to play Australian Open with him. <laughs> We're going to look forward to seeing that on Rod Laver Arena. Roger, welcome to Delhi. Welcome to India. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah, very special to be here. Uh, incredible stadium. Great fans. Uh, I've always wanted to come play tennis here, so I'm happy this is the moment. Thank you, guys. You've heard about it. You've talked to the other players. What was the feeling like when you walked out here onto this court? Special, great ovation, and I really appreciate it. Uh, it's why you, you train hard for, and it's why you, I love this game, for playing in arenas like this around the world, and uh, thanks for the special reception today. It was special. Before I let you go, when was the last time you played mixed doubles? It's been a while. Um, I remember playing with, I, th I think I played three times with Martina Hingis, Martina Navratilova, and my wife. So, it's, uh, and now Sanya. So we've done really well. They've been blessed to have a great partner. Roger, Sanya, well done. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, thanks. We well, had some pretty decent partners down here, didn't he, as far as the mixed doubles is concerned. And another one today, so a comfortable win for Federer and Mirza, and looks like he's really enjoying himself. Of course, Josh Eagle tried his best, he got uh, Nick Kyrgios in for Bruno Suarez, made no difference though, and uh, Federer's warming up nicely, isn't he? Well, uh, of all the players that we've seen, I think he's made the, uh, the transition the, the easiest of the lot for those who aren't uh, permanent fixtures in the team. And uh, as uh, Billie Jean King used to say, champions adjust.